Hey folks, how are you all doing today? Um, hope that you're all okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, coming at you today with the first tasting of the Oriental Dreams mix that I put together last week. Uh, you can see in the jar there. Um, it's a blend of Bright Virginia's um, Latkia Oriental, well, Bright Virginia's Orientals, Latkia and Perique. Um, the jar note is fairly subtle. There's a sweetness to it, there's um, certainly a spiciness, um, but it's a mild, light spice. Um, the last key you can't really smell as such, it, you know, it's not a very smoky smell uh, to the blend itself. Um, <coughs> I'm going to be smoking it in my Rattray's Chubby Jackie, uh, mostly because it's the only blend, uh, the only pipe that I've got at the moment that hasn't been smoked so whatever flavours I'm going to get from it will just be the flavours from the blend. Um, I left it out to dry for about five minutes. Um, dried well, you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't overly moist but I felt it needed a little bit of drying. So. Nothing initially seems to take control. I mean, obviously that is literally just my first taste. Um, The Perique's definitely there, um, you get a, definitely got the pepperiness of the Perique on that retrohale there, um, although still not excessive despite the amount that was in the blend. One of the worries that I had was that the uh, <clears throat> that the 20% of Perique in the blend would be too much and that it would overpower the other flavours. Now, it definitely doesn't seem to have overpowered it just on the first few, uh, you know, just in the first few minutes, you know, few minutes. How that's going to be as the bowl as I go further down the bowl, we'll find out. Um, <clears throat> there was a little bit of the sweetness there from the bright Virginias. Um, You definitely get the uh, the Orientals, the Turkish. It, um, at least I'm assuming that's what it is. It's a slightly floral note, not not an excessive like a Lakeland floral, but um, almost like a very mild 
uh, scented incense um, Yeah, it, the Orientals actually do hold their own in this initial tasting so far. Um, the surprising one is the lat uh, Latkia. I, I can't really taste that very much at all. Um, Yeah, it, it it is difficult, you know, I'm <coughs> sorry, I'm stumbling over my words again. Um, I'm really not getting the Latakia. Um, now, there was 20% Latakia in the blend, so I had expected that to be quite, for, you know, uh, quite forward. But I think because all of the amounts were fairly similar, um, the it seems to be blending, you know, it seems to have blended quite well and fairly balanced. The room note or the smell from the, the smoke is what I it's what I imagine when I, or what I think of when I uh, think about pipe smoking. It's the sort of smell that I associate with it. Um, I, I can't really put a finger on it. Um, it's not unpleasant. It's very nice. There's there's a slight smokiness to it. There's a slight incense-like tone to it. I'm enjoying it. It's it's actually really nice. Um, what I'll do, I'll pause it, stop the video here for now, and I'll come back when I'm a little bit further down the bowl, um, and give you some further impressions. See how it goes. Um, so, I'll be back shortly. Right, I'm back again guys. <coughs> um, I'm about half the way through the bowl now. Um, the Perique has become a bit more forward now. You can definitely get the... You, you, you know, there's definitely the uh, peppery tones of the Perique now. Um, you can, again, the Latakia is not, the Latakia is not strong in it. You, you, there's a slight smoky flavour of the Latakia, but it's re that's the one that seems to be most in the background out of all of them. Um, and surprisingly, I, I'm not really tasting the Virginias as such. Um, it... It seems that the the Orientals, despite there being the same amount of Oriental as there is uh, Virginia, the Oriental seems to be the more dominant flavour of the two. And the Perique as well, as I say, it's it, it really I'm actually really surprised by the blend. It seems to work very well together. Um, I might reduce the amount of Perique just a little bit and maybe increase the uh, Latakia, but 
I think just decreasing the perique a bit would bring the latter key forward a bit more. All in all, I am really enjoying the smoke. It's, it is very, very pleasant. It's not, it's not a complex blend, but you know, it's, it flavor, the, the flavor profile doesn't seem complex as such. You have, like I say, you've got the, um, you've got the Turkish Orientals as the main force of the blend. Um, the Perique hits there and the Latakia seems to mix quite well with the Perique so it's not very forward. Um, the Virginias are there, you just, they're just not, you know, they're hidden. So you get every so often there's a sweetness to it but um, the halite tones that, I've, uh, that I associate with Virginias um, aren't particularly there, um, or at least I've not picked them up. Um, so, yeah, it's good, it's good. I've sent a sample off to my dad. Uh, Stephen Waters, so hopefully um, it, it, I'll, I'll hear what he thinks of it. Um, I'll be interested to see what he, he th you know, what he feels about the blend, um, and it'll be interesting to see how it develops over time. I mean, it's only a week since I mixed it, so it's still a young blend. but to me it's very nice. Um, one thing I'll say about the room note and indeed the, the jar note as well, it, um, when I said it reminds me of what, uh, you know, what I th it's what I think of when I think of pipe smoking. What I meant by that is it's it evokes a memory in me of walking into a tobacconist, you know, one of the old time tobacconists with all the tobacco in jars and the and just the aromas that you get when you walk into one of those old time tobacconists. Um, so for me, it's very pleasant room note. What I might do at some point in the not too distant future is see if any of you guys want to sample some, uh, just so I can get your feedback. Um, unfortunately, just for simplicity's sake, um, I'd probably only be able to offer it to UK guys, you know, UK based smokers, just for avoiding complications of customs and that kind of thing um, but what I'll do if I, if I do decide to do that I'll uh, do another video just asking if anybody wants to try it um, I'm gonna leave the video there for now because it's I'm aware it's getting on uh, to nearly 15 minutes I think so I'll leave it there I'm gonna finish this bowl um, and yeah I hope wherever you are whatever you're doing you're having a great time um, hopefully the sound quality on this video has been better than some of my other ones because as you can see I'm using a little lapel microphone um, so 
you know, I was just aware that the sound quality wasn't very good, so I wanted to improve it a little bit. And I'm also testing it because this is the microphone that I'm going to use when I start doing videos outdoors, um, which I'm planning on going down to Kirk's de Labby um, in the not too distant future. Um, and I'll do a video down there. Um, but as I say for now, you take care guys and I will catch you another time. Right. Ta-da.